conversation with Copernicus on his new book, Immediate Eternity, which promises much. And we're going to have to see through our conversation and analysis of the book how much it delivers, in fact. We were, in the last segment, Copernicus talking about your antipathy for anthropocentrism, seeing man as the center of the universe, which you place, and I think correctly, at the period of the Renaissance. Everything turned back to man as the center of everything, and that is, as you see it, the root of evil until this day. Why? And you're not alone in that view, by the way. I'm going to tell oh, you about Oh, thank you. I'm glad that there's someone else that agrees with me. Uh, the Eastern Orthodox Church, incidentally. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I wonder. Uh, they do? All right. They do Good. indeed. Well, they, uh, they, and of course, you're a member of that church. I am indeed, yes. <laughs> Good, okay. To, so set, to set the record straight. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, they had man at the center of the universe, not at the... I mean, man for, the, for a, a Renaissance, 14th century, 15th century uh, guy was even 16th century guy until Copernicus came around. They had him on the earth, and the entire universe was going around the earth. <laughs> not the solar system, the universe. I mean, that, that's what they call a big head. So, uh, and, and the after, even, I mean, the Pope just two years ago, the Catholic Pope, uh, uh, he just said, you know, 1996, he said, you know, Copernicus was right <laughs> in, 50, in 1471. <laughs> you termed that, you termed that admission uh, a bit of hypocrisy to make it seem as if the church really cared about truth. I mean, if, the, if the Pope wasn't about Polish, truth, it? because Copernicus was Polish, if the Pope was Italian, they wouldn't even have bothered with it. <laughs> you really think so? Oh, sure. But isn't it part of remaking the image of the church to fit the modern day? That's one of the things I wanted to ask you about. Is it possible, I mean, I know you've uh, criticized a lot about the church, the Catholic church, or Christianity, or whatever, in general. Uh, but is it not possible for the church to grow with the new knowledge that has influenced you? The atomic knowledge, the scientific knowledge, the technical They're knowledge. To absorb To absorb that and fit it into we the, don't need a new them. framework. We don't need them. We don't need any churches. We don't need any priests. We are the priest. The universe is the church. Okay? Well, we were the we church. We don't need them. If they, they can the stay church. around, but as long as they pay taxes, they can stay here. But why? As long as they pay taxes, why that's do you, all. Why do you look at the church as us and them when, when people believe the most in the Middle Ages, about which you found a certain spiritual charm, I might add, in your book? You've, you've admitted that there was a certain spirituality that you admire. Pre-Renaissance, pre pre-14th century, right. yeah. At that time, everybody was part of the church. It wasn't the priests and us. It was all of us together. We all believed the same thing. No, we were all imposed upon by the religious political establishment, and if we didn't go according to what they said, they, we, they killed us. They That's used, what they was. They used coercion. Uh, that, that, <laughs> coercion? They used torture and death. <laughs> Friendly persuasion, if you will. There was no... And as, Constantine, as who like imposed the Christianity on his uh, Roman Empire, said, if you didn't believe in what he said, he cut your throat. And the fact of the matter is, Constantine himself did not even believe in Christianity. He, was, he believed in Apollo. So, I mean, <laughs> no, no, we don't, we don't really, uh, really we, uh, know, we know necessarily yeah, what yeah, he yeah. believed. He but certainly, used Christianity because his, but his empire was already becoming you're ab Christian. You're absolutely right by, uh, about what you say in the book, that it was the glue that that uh, held the empire together. And that is why the Byzantine Empire, what is called the Byzantine Empire, but was really the Eastern Roman, lasted for a thousand years, uh, almost a thousand years after the, the Western Roman Empire in Rome collapsed. Nothing exists.